So this problem is number two from the 2016 AP Calculus BC exam. So it gives you, um, it says that at time t, the position of a particle moving in the xy plane is given by the parametric equations x of t and y of t. And it gives you the equation for dx dt, which is um, the rate of change of the x position in relation to t. And it also gives you a graph of y. And it gives you an initial condition when t equals zero and the position of that condition, uh, the position of the particle at t equals zero, which is five, one. So for part A, you're supposed to find the position of the particle at time t equals three. So the position is given by x of t, y of t. So the position at t equals three is just gonna be x of three, y of three. So x of three, we can find by taking um, x of zero. So it's the x coordinate at time t equals zero, plus the integral from zero to three of dx dt, which is t squared plus sine of 3t squared dt. So when we plug that into our calculator, we're going to know that x of 0 equals 5 plus that integral. And it ends up being 14.377. So now to find y of 3, we actually know that this graph is y of t already, so we can just look at where 3 is. And since this is a line, we know that that has to be negative 1 half. So the position overall, we said, is going to be x of 3 comma y of 3. So that is going to be equal to 14.377 comma negative 1 half. So that is your answer for part A. For part B, you're supposed to find the slope of the line tangent to the path of the particle at t equals 3. So we know that slope is going to be dy over dx. So to find this, we know that dy over dx equals dy over dt over dx over dt. And we already actually have um, dx dt at t equals 3 if we just plug in 3 there. So we have dx dt at t equals 3 would be 3 squared plus sine of 3 times 3 squared, which ends up being 9.956. And then to find dy dt at t equals 3, we can look at the graph again. And at t equals 3, the slope looks like it's about 1 half or it is one half because it's a line. So we know that the slope of the line tangent to the path of the particle would be dy over dx, and this is going to be 9.956 over one half, or 0 0.050. For part c, you're supposed to find the speed of the particle at t equals 3. So we know that the speed is given by the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared. That's just our equation for speed. And so since we already found dx dt at t equals 3 and dy dt at t equals 3, we can actually just plug those in. So we end up with this equaling 9.969. So finally, for part d, you're supposed to find the total distance traveled by the particle from t equals 0 to t equals 2. So the, an easy way to think about the total distance is just the arc length, because we know this parametric equation is going to be happening on the xy plane. So the total distance traveled, just so we don't accidentally get confused and end up finding the displacement, if we use the arc length formula, that would help. So know the arc length formula is the integral from 0 to 2 of the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared, and then all of this dt. So the one thing that might throw us off, if we um, are looking at the graph of y of t, we'll notice that from 0 to 1, dy dt is going to equal negative 2. But from 1 to 2, dy dt is actually just going to equal 0, which means that we're going to have to divide this into two integrals. So we're going to have to take the integral from 0 to 1 and add that to the integral from 1 to 2. So when we plug in our formula for dx dt and our numbers for dy dt, we're going to end up with this, which when we evaluate that out with your calculator again, because this is the calculator section, ends up being 4.350. So that's your answer for part D.